In today's video, I want to show you how we can use Python's turtle module to color shapes in. So in today's example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing this factory here with a black outline. And then we're going to use um, a function to fill it in with a gray color. It's rather simple, so let's get stuck into making it over in our Python editor. So I'm using Mu today, and like always when we're using the turtle, we need to write in the first line of code that says from turtle import star. So just saying from the turtle module, which is just a library of code written by somebody else, we're going to import all of the functions inside of it. And that will give us access to the functions that allow us to draw onto the screen. Now, just for a bit of housekeeping, first of all, we're going to set the speed that we draw it today to zero, which means that's the quickest speed possible. We're also going to set up a BG color. And that BG color, which is the background color, is going to be sky blue. Okay, after that, we're going to move into position to start drawing our factory. So let's pull our pen up off the page. Remember, the turtle is like a pen drawing on paper. And if we were to leave our pen on the page while we move to our starting coordinates, it would draw a line across the page. And we don't want that. So we lift our pen up, or our turtle up, in the air. And we use the go to function to move to a particular set of coordinates. We're going to move to minus 250 on the x-axis, which is across to the left-hand side of the page. And we're going to go to minus 100 on the y-axis, which is down um, a little bit lower on the page than halfway. Once we're in position, we can put the pen back down on the page, ready for drawing. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my colors. And this is where we um, define the fill color that we want our factory to be. Okay, so in brackets, I'm going to put two colors. The first color is the outline. So I'm going to write black. Then I'm going to put a comma and write grey for my fill colour. And I'm going to put a comment after this just so you can come back to it if need be and you'll understand what this means. So the first um, colour that we typed in was the outline colour. The second one was the fill colour. Okay, so I'll just put that little comment there as a bit of a reminder about what's going on inside of these brackets here in the colour function. All right. Um, once we've got our color set, we can turn our fill on. So we can write begin fill, which means when we start drawing this next shape, uh, once we close it in, we can fill it in with that gray color. All right, now the first thing we're going to be drawing in this factory is the chimney sections. I'll just show you the example again. We're going to do this left-hand side here first of all. So we come across a little bit, and then we go at an almost 90-degree angle up the top, and then come back down at an almost 90-degree angle um, back down here. So let's have a go at drawing that. Um, I'm going to put a comment in here that says chimney, just so we know that this is the chimney section. And we're going to start by doing that little bit that goes forward 30 steps. And then we're going to turn left at 88 degrees, which is almost 90 degrees. So we're just going to go up on a slight angle here. Then we're going to go forward 300 steps, so fair way up in the sky. Uh, once we've gone forward 300 steps, we're going to turn right 88 degrees just to level ourselves out and draw the top of the chimney by going forward 50 steps. We then turn right 88 degrees one more time and go back down the other side of the chimney, which is 300 steps. And that little snippet of code there should draw the start of our factory with the chimney. So let's just save this as factory and give it a run. Okay, so far so good. So we've got a little start bit up 88 degrees and then back down the other side at 88 degrees. Next thing we're going to draw are these two big triangles. So it's the rest of the roof, I suppose, um, on the factory. So I might put in a comment here that just says, oh, I don't even know what to call them. I'll say first triangle. And I'll just make a bit of room beneath there so we can see this a bit clearer. So for the first triangle, what we're going to do is we're going to turn left 88 degrees just to level ourselves out and go forward 40 steps. Now for the start of this triangle, we're going to turn left at 90 degrees and go straight up. 100 steps. Then I'm going to turn right at 120 degrees. Oops. And then we're going to go forward 200 steps to bring it back down the other side. If we save that and test it, we should now have the chimney and the first triangle drawn. Now the second triangle is basically the same thing. We go back up and come back down at a um, steep angle. So let's put in a comment here that says second triangle. And we're going to go left at 120 degrees and go forward 100 steps to go straight back up. Then we're going to turn right 120 degrees again and go forward 200 to bring ourselves back down to the roof. 
So that should be the second triangle drawn now on the roof. Looking good, so it's just a matter of finishing things off now, connecting the shapes back up. So I'll put in a comment here, I'll just say finishing off, um, and we'll let me turn right 60 degrees to start with and go forward 200. Okay, and just running that will show us that we're heading down the page now. Just got to cut across here now and go back up to where we started to finish off this factory. Okay, so after we've gone for 200 steps, we're going to go right at 90 degrees. And we're going to go forward here, 487 steps, pretty specific there. Then we're going to turn right 90 degrees and put the last line in. So we're just going to go forward 200 steps and we should be all finished off. So let's have a look at our shape. There we go. So that's looking good. The last thing we need to do now, just to color this in completely, is write the words end fill. So at the start of this code here, when we started drawing our shape, we had begin fill. That just tells the computer what we're about to draw needs to be filled in with color. And then once the shape is fully connected, we just tell the computer to end the fill. And that just tells the computer that's the entire shape that we want to fill in with that gray color. So let's have a look now. There we go. We've got our basic factory shape. Now we could stop the tutorial here, but I just want to make it look a little bit nicer. I want to chuck a few windows in first. So we just need to draw ourselves a square. And again, we're going to fill this square in with a color. So let's write window one. It's going to be three windows. Um, first of all, we just need to lift our pen up off the page and go to a set of coordinates of minus 200 and minus 250. Okay, once there, we're going to put our pen down back on the page and we're going to use the begin fill function. Okay, remember we use this um, to Tell Python that whatever shape we draw next, we want it filled in with a particular color. Those colors that we need to use, actually I probably should have done these first. I might do that after pen down. The color that I wanted to use was black for the outline and white for the fill color. Okay, so the first color is the outline, second color is the fill color. So these um, squares that we draw in a moment are going to have a black border with a white interior color. Okay, so now that we've begun the fill, we can draw the shape that we want. So it's for I in range 4. We're going to go forward 100 steps and then turn right at 90 degrees. Okay, and that's how we draw ourselves a square, which is going to be a window in this case. Now if I run it now, it's not going to work properly. It'll give me the outline of the window, but it's not colored in. The reason it's not colored in is because I haven't written the words end fill just yet. So it's really important to have begin fill and end fill around the shape that you're drawing and want colored in, otherwise it won't color in. So if you run it now, you can see we've got our first window looking good. All right, I'm going to copy and paste that code to do window number two. So just copy and paste all the window one, including the comment. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. We're going to change the comment to say window two. Now the coordinates we want are minus 50 and minus 250. So that's just the X value there changing. Um, everything's going to stay the same here now. So we don't need to touch anything else. It's the same size window, same colors. So let's give that a run and we should see a second window appear. We've got space for one more window there. So let's do that as well. It's going to be pretty much the same code as before. So copy and paste it again. We'll rename the comment to say window three and we'll change these coordinates here. Uh, it's going to be 100 the x value still minus 250 though for the y value everything else should be the same so let's give that a run and we should have three windows on the page okay so the factory is starting to look a bit more like a factory now the last thing i want to do is just add a bit of smoke coming out of the chimney which is easily done by using um, circles we just overlap those circles on top of one another so i'm just going to write smoke and i'm going to just copy this little section here that says the pen up and go to and pen down Okay, let's just make a bit of space down the bottom here. So inside the smoke thing, we want to lift our pen up off the page and go to the set of coordinates of minus 150, which is over to the left-hand side of the page. And we're going to go to 230 for the Y value. So that's up in the sky where the chimney is located. Once we put our pen down, we are ready to start drawing this smoke. So the color we're going to use today is gray. Spot the American way. And then we're going to turn on the fill. Okay, begin fill. And all we need to do to draw a circle from previous tutorials, we should know this, 
is write the word circle and then the size of the radius in brackets next to it. So we're just going to go with a 20 step radius. Once you've done that, end the fill. And that should be at the start of your smoke done. Just a little circle at the top here. I'm going to overlap like three circles that gradually get bigger. All right, so I'm going to copy um, all of that code there that we've done under the smoke comment. And I'm going to paste it in down here a little bit lower. So the second piece of smoke, um, let's move it to 120 for the X value and 250 for the Y. We'll leave the color as gray so we can delete that line because it's already been set to gray in the previous um, little section. I'm going to make the circle size 25. That should give us a second circle that's slightly bigger and overlapping the first. Looks good. Might do one more just so it looks a bit nicer. So pen up minus 120 is going to be changed to minus 90 and the Y value is going to be 270 now. The circle size is simply going to be 30 and that will probably do us. Just before we finish off, I'm going to add in the last line of code, which is hide turtle. So the little turtle icon that you see when drawing will disappear at the end. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. That smoke has um, three nice circles there overlapping one another. Okay, so you now know that you can draw any old shape, um, like this factory, for example, using lines. And as long as those lines are connected up and you use the begin fill and end fill function, you're able to color different shapes in. Same goes for squares and circles. Okay, just make sure you've got begin fill and end fill around the shape you've drawn, and they'll always color in. Okay, so I will stop the video here and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.